In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to write the complete source code in JavaScript to make the snake game. Then we're going to paste this JavaScript code into CodePen just to see if it actually works. So I'm going to start my prompt with write complete JavaScript source code that initializes canvas tag with ID a game and uses it to render the rest of the game. Uses keyboard events to capture game controls. The game you are writing source code for is snake game, where user controls a snake represented by default length of three. and can navigate game map created as grid of 50 by 50 squares where each square is 5 by 5 pixels in width and height. Make snake gray, make food orange, if snake bumps into map boundaries, reset snake coordinates to center. Do not include game over code. Okay, guys, so I'm going to hit enter and watch ChatGPT create the snake game. Here it's creating the canvas tag and initializes it just as we asked. Grid size is five. And all those things we actually specified in the prompt, it seems to be doing correctly so far. So I'm going to speed this up. And so what happened is even though I have chat GPT plus, it got stuck at this place, writing the code, uh, draw the food, and it did not continue writing the rest of the program, which is weird because that's why I upgraded, but I guess it still gets stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to regenerate this source code again, and hopefully the second time it's going to give me the complete version. So I'm going to hit the regenerate response button here, and ChatGPT is going to give me an alternative source code in JavaScript of what it had just started typing in the previous message. So I'm going to speed this up again. And this time it actually finished the entire program correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and open CodePen in my browser on the right hand side. I'm going to go to this pen button and create a new JavaScript project. Then I'm going to go ahead and copy this ChatGPT snake program and paste it into the JavaScript box over here. Now, initially, I'm going to get an error here at the bottom, but it's only because I don't have actual HTML canvas tag. So I'm going to start it here. Canvas ID game and close the canvas tag. And that's it, guys. The actual JavaScript code is correct and it automatically started working in the console view here. You can see our snake here, which is exactly three pixels in length and I'm controlling it with the keyboard. Now, the only thing that doesn't happen is when the snake actually eats the food, it does not regenerate, but you can easily add that yourself in the source code. And so I think that this chat GPT tutorial demonstrate how easy it can be to learn game development, you can say, because all of your fundamentals of a basic JavaScript game are here in the source code. So even if you don't know how to code, simply by analyzing the structure of this source code, you can get a head start in game development in just under five minutes.